Well, at least it's warm in here. Pelts are curing. The rabbit pelts are cured. How are the guts? Not fully cured. And then the deer hide's not fully cured either. Alright, let's drop these pelts on the ground. Drop, drop, drop. Just to remind us that we need to make a rabbit skin hat before too terribly long. We'll put those there. Now, to make the rabbit skin hat, we need three of them and one cured gut and then the workbench. Uh, we are going to cook a little bit, I guess, and then we will put some... some supplies. Okay. We brought back some fish. 89%. It was at 100. We spent one night away, so it is dropping about 10% per day. Let's go ahead and grab this uh, gamey wolf meat. We can eat that. And then I guess we'll have a soda too. Some wolf meat and a soda should be a good breakfast for us. I know that things are a good lunch for us. I know that things are a little hazy around the edges. We're still experiencing pain. And will for the next couple of hours. We have an abundance of medical supplies and we are home, so... Believe me, the first thing that I would do... Is go over and, uh, take a painkiller. Uh, you know what, though? Instead of the painkillers, let's have some rosehip tea. We're gonna take it. We are going to grab a little bit of reclaimed wood. We'll grab that birch bark and we will start a fire. We will have a nice warm cup of tea to take us out into the wilderness. 55% chance is so low. All right, let's burn a book, I guess. So there's still two ice fishing huts we have not looked at. Come on. There's at least one more cabin that we need to uh, find the materials for. That did it. But I have a very specific plan of attack that I want to try here. Let's add. I guess that's all the reclaimed wood we really need to put into it. Let's warm up the rosehip tea. Alright, so. Let me show you what my plan is here. I want to come all the way down here and collect this supply cache. And then we, over here somewhere, we found something called the Western Access for the lake. So we're going to try coming straight across and see if we can find our way in over here and then get to the Forest Talker. We know that we can spend the night at one of the cabins over here. We even left some wolf meat out. So I think we're fine. Let's go ahead and... Drink this rose hip tea. Fixing our pain, warming us up, giving us a little bit of food. We're gonna have this gamey wolf meat. Almost filled us up. And then, you know what? We're gonna put the MRE away. MREs are great to care. Actually, you know what? We will keep the MRE. The MREs are great great to carry. I think the, the weight ratio is better on other things, but this is like 1,700 calories, and this is like 1,300. And look at the weight difference. Hunted food always seems to be terrible. This is about the only thing that I think is probably better than this. This is going to be about 3,200 per um, kilogram. 
This is 5,000 per kilogram. So, we're still hanging on to the energy bar. The smart thing to do would be to eat something like, um... You know what, we'll eat this stale chocolate bar. I like chocolate. It's a little bit of calories, maxed us out. We will have some water to drink. We will make more water at some point in time. How much time is left on this? 18 minutes. Not enough to even make any more water. So... Uh, how about coffee? Cook a tin of coffee. Coffee does not take long to cook. 13 minutes until ready, 15 minutes of that. That'll get us some energy. Uh, we'll still have the warmth bonus. It's fine. I definitely want that energy, though. Okay. We're good. What are we carrying that we don't need to be carrying? Uh, this, I guess. Let's go upstairs. We're going to grab the other one. We're going to try and just use it up on our knife and our hatchet next time that it's dark. 80%, yeah. We'll just try and use it up. We can put some of these sewing kits aside because we just don't need them. Lantern fuel will keep... Flares will keep. These flares will put away. They've gotten heavy, and we're carrying multiples of them. I'm fine with carrying the extra firearms cleaning kit. That has been so critical for us that I'm perfectly willing to hang on to it. Um, and then I guess we need to put away the last of the disinfectant. We got that other disinfectant. Wolf hide should be done before too long. Gut should be done before too long. All right. I feel good. It's getting kind of late in the day, so we are planning to spend the night on the lake. But we have to make a detour before we do. Oh, the fatigue reduced is already gone. Wow. We didn't really do any cooking or anything after we had the coffee, so uh, that did not last long for some reason. Well, we've had a hard day of it, wandering around through blizzards and everything else like that. The warming up's also expired. Sure seems like that stuff lasts longer at other times, and I don't know why. Could have something to do with the fact that the temperatures tend below, but I'm not sold on it. Try again. Those would be great if I needed the firewood, but I know the cabin's going to be... I have a feeling the cabin will be warm enough. Getting in bed is warm. Our clothes are warm. Even if we can't start a fire in there, I think we'll be okay. We do need to keep an eye out for a wolf. We know that sometimes he likes to range ahead up here. I could shoot him. And kill him. But I don't want to care carry all his carcass around. I do find it interesting that we've observed wolves chase down rabbits. We've seen them feed on deer, and I suspect they'll chase down deer. I have not seen wolves try and eat wolves. They might, I suppose, if I were to drop it as a lure while one was chasing me. How close are we? We've passed it. It's somewhere over here. I 
You think that... That's kind of a T-shape, right? Do you think that's a forest talker thing? I recall seeing that there you are. before, too. I guess it's not Could forest talker stuff, useful. though, right? Well, crap. That didn't get me what I wanted. Go back here. I know that we kept the note for it. Horse talker. Illegible documents. It's largely unreadable. This message was meant for someone. Bold arrow pointing to a large X. And then I think it put a marker on our map. That says work through the things. That one, we found a whole bunch of these. We found that cache. I don't know. We may yet find it, but I don't see it. All right, let's go deal with the lake gunshots for now before it gets too late and our energy drops too low. Well, I guess <laughs> we cannot come immediately west or uh, go immediately east out of the, the tracks. That's just not going to work for us. Okay, so the western access I bet that means there is a path. You know that hill that's kind of up behind our cabin? I bet there's walking paths or something else like that up there. That will lead us down and around to the lake. So we'll, we'll try that direction. Because we'll get back to the cabin and it would be nice to have a little more energy. It would be nice for it to be later in the day. But I feel like we'll be kind of wasting our time if we don't try and take advantage of it. On the one hand, the smart move is to rest and take it easy and proceed with some amount of caution. But if you think about it, we have a few days worth of food. We can go hunt some more, but every time we hunt, we put ourselves at risk. We can get attacked, our clothing could be destroyed, our items could be damaged. Hmm. I wonder if we can make it up there. Let's not try. I know for sure that there's a path behind our place. I kind of recall seeing it. Oh yeah? right. I'm the Lord of Fire. You will run from me. Well, that's twice. Crap. It's one of the things that sucks about walking in the direction that they flee. Should be okay. Now, I'm real curious if I had injured him. Yeah, there we go. Kind of a path back there. If I had injured him, would he have stayed away longer? Would he have just kept running forever until he died? Would the pain have been a constant stimulus to keep him moving? I don't know. New location discovered. Lake Trail.
on the off chance that we get stuck out here and have to build a fire. Crossroads. Well, that way almost certainly leads to the lake, but what's up here? We have more energy than I expected to have at this point in time, and we still have some daylight. I'm willing to check it out. It's getting foggy. Air temperature is at 10. Let's watch over the next couple of minutes and see if that goes up or down. Please don't be the cave of the old bear. Please don't be the cave of the old bear. It is one of those really large caves. And I hear... Dave's quiet clearing. How's the weather in here? Well, we're out of the wind, at least. Lots of stones. Okay, well. A cozy little dead end. That did not have a bear in it. We could probably work our way up there, but I don't think we're going to bother with it. We'll come back to this intersection and go the other way, and it should take us back to the lake. There's a lot of grass here. Almost surprised that there's not just a bunch of rabbits out here. They seem to be frequently found in locations with grass. We still have some time. The sun is just now starting to set. Not that we can see it. I have noticed that the saves are a little more noticeable. I have noticed that there is a notice. You notice? The saves seem to be a little more noticeable on... the uh, this large map here than they were on, on other things. Okay, so... We found the lake. Wait, where does this go? <laughs> now I want to come up there and explore. Alright, it's too late for that. It's too late. Let's go talk to the forest walker. And let's stay at that cabin. And remember, we dropped all that wolf meat, too. I haven't been really going hard on just eating the wolf meat, even though there are no vitamins or minerals or anything else like that. There does seem to be food poisoning, um, dysentery from uh, bad water. Eating too much carnivore meat could be bad for you, at least in real life. Ninety-nine percent. It's been here for days. Okay, well, we've learned something very important. If you leave cooked food out in the snow, it doesn't seem to degrade. 
like it's a giant freezer. I've got your supplies and those documents you wanted here. Hey, that's great. Thank you. But I hope you understand if I ask you to just leave them outside the door. Drop supplies or drop supplies and take ammo. We'll just drop the supplies. Right. I'll uh, leave it all here for you, just like you asked. We have Thank like you, stranger. 20 some odd rounds. You may not care, but you've made a huge difference to our cause. And I don't want to screw this guy. Check on the lake cabin tomorrow. Okay. Uh, can we go check a fishing hut in time? We probably could. I don't see why we couldn't. Also, I think there should still be more cabins, so... Can we come this way that does not seem to have... All the wolves. We've only unlocked one cabin, right? We have two cabin keys. It means there should be more cabins. Well, that's not a good sign. Okay. Late cabins. That one's burned out, but the other ones look okay. Okay. Found another one of these small nice cabins. Wool mittens. Okay, I've been I've been curious about these. Cause wool has some pretty good heating qualities. Let's if I can click on the right place. Let's compare these. Well, they're at 53%. So let's assume double if they're fully repaired. No movement penalty. Not great for that. But they'll cover half of it. They weigh a tenth of it. There's almost a full kilo that we can bring with us. I, you know, let's hang on to them. We'll repair them, and we'll see. But I think we'll be keeping. Think we'll be keeping the gauntlets. If I'm being honest, they're really good. Tomato soup. Lots of books. Revolver shell casing. And we have a revolver at one point, so let's read this text. The small note seems to have been left for someone in particular. Hard to imagine, as the area is quite sparse. A. I'm heading to the clear cut. Put some supplies aside for us, away from prying eyes. If you need something, look for the old stump between the two log piles. It's back to the logging camp. Hmm. Right? Hmm. Further away. Okay. That's not terrible, because this mountain's where the other lookout is, and I want to kind of explore this lake, so... It's a, uh, legitimate reason to go in a direction that I already wanted to go. So, I'm good with that. I found that revolver round, and I was really hoping I would find a revolver. Sack of papers, bed, cloth. We checked the crate. It's just a desk. Okay. Next cabin, I guess. I mean, if you started out here, you would show up and you would find wool mittens. And you would be grateful. You'd find some food and you'd be happy about that. I bet this one's locked, yep. Okay, so that's two. I bet there's one more grouping of cabins. That'll come in handy. Decent wool mittens, okay. 
More firewood, still no places to burn it. What is this? Combat pants, huh? Heavy duty military pants gear. with reinforced knees articulated for good mobility designed to take a beating. All right, those may be a better version of our work pants. Sewing kit, good. Condensed milk, good. So many books, but we can't really burn any of them. Should be good to drink. Water? Yeah, water's fine. Another dream catcher, some painkillers. We're not supposed to go there off-season, but there's this amazing hunting to be had near Mystery Lake. The warden usually shuts down the park for the winter. The cabins are meant for summer use, so bring some warm clothes and a heavy sleeping bag. We'll break in, bag a few stags, and then truck the meat out of there in a couple weeks. Stan will pick us up along the old coastal highway. Meet me at the cabins on November... the xx -th. Nobody's telling it in Roman numerals, they just don't want to give us a date. Come alone, bring beer. There's been a lot of logging in the area, so stay out of sight. Well, a little story, but nothing new to learn. Ooh, combat boots, huh? I bet our boots are better. We've seen the combat boots, right? We saw those back in Chapter 1? Is it food, or...? Another worn wool ear flap. Excellent. I don't know what else we would possibly put in our second slot, but now we have something. Well, we automatically put it on, so that's great. I think we should look at... Well, we don't actually have to go anywhere, do we? There's food at the other cabin, but... There's... I mean, we're not cold. There's no reason that we would have to leave this cabin. There's nothing better at any of the others, so... Okay, let's take a moment here. I want to look at the new clothing we picked up. The one of most importance to me, I think, are the combat pants. Oh, yeah. 95%, 67%. They have almost the same amount of heat. Resistance, more water resistance. We'll almost certainly have more armor and no penalty for that. Combat pants are where it's at. Now, the cargo pants are probably still good, too. But the combat pants are going to be our top layer. Cloth? Fine. 30 minutes to fix it? Nope, 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 nope. Cancel. I hit the wrong thing. We want to repair, not harvest. I'm just going to get over this minor heart attack that I gave myself. 100%. All right. Let's try this again. 2.0. Okay, so it's a little less resistant to the wind, but it's literally better in every other way. No, these actually still offer better... Huh. Still offers better protection. I'm still going to go with these, though, right? They weigh less. They weigh half. New combat pants are where it's at. Where am I? Okay. And then we have... These... This is better wind protection, better water, but it's much heavier. It's got a resistance. I, I, I think this is where it's at. I think we're gonna we're gonna keep this. We're gonna take these other cargo pants apart. Let's look at the boots here, real quick. Combat boots. Oh yeah, much less heat. All they do is offer us better armor. It would be great if we were going to, you know, be a walking tank, but it's not worth double the weight. Okay, um, we should be able to take some of this stuff apart, even though it's getting dark. I love these new work pants, but we just don't need them. All right, so we'll harvest them. It is now dark enough that I don't think I can really repair anything. That requires clothing, or that requires tools, but I think maybe we can do this? We'll see. It'll tell me if it's too dark. 
Not too dark to repair that by touch. That's kind of amazing. Alright, can we take the boots apart? Actions, harvest. An hour 30 for one piece of cured leather. Do I need cured leather to fix literally anything else that I'm, I'm wearing? I don't. We're just going to drop them. Goodbye, boots. Um, We'll tear apart these crap of mittens, I guess. To try and fix the other one. I just want to compare it to what we've got. I think as long as we're warm. This is actually... Yeah, I can't repair while we're in the dark. Okay. That's fine. How long would it take to repair? 25 minutes? I've got a lantern. I need to drop something. Yeah, well... Yeah, but... Let's try repairing them here real quick. I think we can do the sharpening and gun repairing and stuff in the dark, actually. Alright, so let's compare here. Okay, so it's half the heat bonus for a tenth of the weight. Does not do much for wind, does not do much for water, does not do much for armor, but does not... So these are efficient, but maybe not great. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. Too heavy. Alright, so we should be able to harvest these. We don't need any tools to do so. And then let's look at maintaining our tools a little bit. We're just trying to pass some time in the night here. So that we'll have a good rest in the morning and can wake up when it's actually light. actually be able to get this up to 100%. It's just the right multiple. And here we go. 100% hatchet. Nicely, nicely sharpened. It's about like we were going to shave with it. And then we will use the rest of the whetstone. 16 minutes for 4%? Is that because we're getting tired or does the knife take more? We'll do one more. And then we'll get something to drink. We'll eat some food. And we'll go to sleep. What do we have here? It would be nice to, uh, to have this. This will give us some water as well. And we can't... I don't think we can heat up this, because it doesn't have the cold bonus, so I don't think it can be made hot. This says cold, so it can be made hot. And that's why we ran out. We did not drink our coffee. Well, we'll have cold coffee in the morning. Much better. Much better. How's our condition now? We're still well fed, of course. We still need more water. We still need more food. We can have up to 400 or so more food. So a can of soda would be good for us. Um, I think we're going to have the soup in the... M no? We will have... We'll have a soda. That's fine. 
And then maybe a candy bar. A little sugar. Here in the middle of the night. Chocolate and nuts. So I guess it's more of a Mr. Good Bar, really. One of my favorites. Uh, yeah, we'll have the last of the soda. That filled us up. We're doing great. We can save the water for later, and we will just sleep here in this bed. It will lead you back to me.